This video here has been a long time coming. I played Skate or Die on the NES on my channel about a year or so ago. Now that game's very nostalgic for me because me and my buddies used to play it when we were growing up. Well, in the comments section of that video, someone actually said that they made a Skate or Die 2, which I wasn't aware of growing up. And somebody else said I should try out 720, which I've never played that either. And they were kind of worn back and forth of over which game was better. But also as an added bonus, Ski or Die today. Well, so far this game's pretty awesome just on the title screen alone. So maybe people are right that Skater Die 2 is a lot better. Now, I've never played this one before, so I'm kind of anxious to see how it is. Um, you got start for adventure and select for ramp. I'm just going to start with a ramp and I noticed down at the bottom it says Electronic Arts. That's uh, EA. That's pretty wild. Yay! I actually did a did some tricks. Well, I did okay for a little bit, I guess. I'm not sure what the controls are. I mean, if I knew the controls, I'm sure it would be a whole lot better. But I do think this is kind of cool. Did I just split in half? No way, dude. No way, dude. No way, dude. Okay, what you just saw was the ramp. Now I'm gonna try to adventure mode, but so far this game lives up to the title. Skate or die. I mean, you see my character just split in half for no reason. That was wild. Starring? Rodney are you freaking serious I said this guy looked like Rodney Dangerfield in the first game so is that what they're going for are they actually trying to make this guy look like Rodney Dangerfield I mean I was just kind of memeing in the first game because the guy kind of looks like him but this is crazy they actually called him Rodney um that looks like Ariel that's uh her name's CJ but that's Ariel dude Nice pick. So this is some kind of adventure mode or something. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, and me, our hero. Okay, um, why am I a hero? It's another beautiful day in the quiet town of Elwood. Perfect weather for the mayor's wife to take her poodle Fifi for a nice walk. And for you to take your board out. Okay. For some serious sidewalk shredding. This is great. Clean streets, excellent weather. Can it get better than this? Oh look, Fifi, the antique store is having a sale. Hey, poser, where'd you learn to ride? So this is weird that it has like a story. Buzz off, Ice Pick. Who you calling Poser? Am I saying that right? Because I swear Poser's spelled different. I say Pose Swear. <laughs> so I hit the dog? Splat. Rip. Okay, so this is supposed to be a skateboarding game, but why do I have like, I mean, I know it's called an adventure, but I didn't think it would have this much story for a skateboarding game. You know what I'm saying? Major bummer, dude. Major bummer, dude. And it's cool that it's got voice acting in it, you know, that's uh, Yo, pretty good. Yo, dude, I'm Rodney Dangerfield. Take some time to cruise these streets and nab 
any rad stuff you might see. See, why can't we bring back words like that, like rad? You don't hear rad anymore. You got stupid words like on fleek and lit and all that stuff. Let's bring back like tubular and awesome and radical. Come find me if you ever need a better board, okay. I don't know what's going on here. I just, I just wanna play. Okay, so the controls are a little weird trying to turn around and stuff. Okay, I got a taco. What am I supposed to be doing? Just collecting stuff? This isn't a uh, skater die like I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I enjoyed that little ramp mode, but this is, this is weird. Do I have a gun? Uh, well, cool, I couldn't, like, shoot him. So, what is this? Well, I can see the controls are still kind of bad. How come... I can't shoot when I want to. It's the B button, but I was spamming it. It wouldn't let me shoot until, like, I was stopped. Okay, there's a CD up there. Okay, this game is really really weird. This is not what I thought when I, I heard of Skater Die 2. I thought it was going to be more stuff like the ramp. And I want to try to like shoot somebody, but they're just kind of riding around not really bothering me. I don't know. Do I fall over everything? See, I'm trying to like Okay, so I can shoot. I think I had to press forward and B. I think that's my problem. Got some arrows, so I guess I go in here, huh? Okay. Man, I don't... I don't know how to, like, jump high. So how would you... I can get down here, but how do you get back out? Hit the wall? That's kind of... Kind of lame. I'm not sure. Am I, am I just supposed to be like collecting like tacos and shooting other skateboarders until something happens? I have no idea. Is that dynamite? I just drove through it and didn't get it for some reason. But yeah, this is uh, not what I expected at all. How come I? Okay, now he gets it. Okay. Is that the woman that was mad at me for Fifi? Is this like a boss? Wow, good job me. Come on. I just want to get down there and try to hit her with something. Of course, that's like impossible. It's... I don't understand. This game is not the same as the first game. Uh... How come that was like a grandma, but now it's this guy? Was he wearing a wig? I don't know what just happened, but that was Skater Die 2. It's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more like the first game, so I don't really know what to think of it. I mean, the adventure mode's kind of cool in a way, but I was looking for more, you know, ramps and downhill modes and doing tricks and stuff. That was just really weird so let's check out skier die all right welcome to skier die this is another game that i didn't play either as a kid i didn't even know it existed all i knew about was skater die so i played skater die on my channel and i just showed you skater die too which is really weird from the first one so now let's just check out skier die And here we go. This guy's name is Rodney. He's got it up on his like, you know, name tag. So I said this guy looked like Rodney Dangerfield before. He's like a comedian or whatever. And they're legitimately using him as Rodney. I think it's funny that I called him Rodney, but he's actually Rodney in the game. So I guess he's supposed to be Rodney Dangerfield. Um, this looks like a lot like Skater Die. So. You can go compete, which I got to sign up. 
or just go to practice. I'm just gonna go to practice and see what's up. Okay, how do I move? Oh, I'll press the button. All right, well, that's cool. Um, let's, um, I don't know, let's go to Snowball Blast first. I'm just gonna kinda go around in order. This is not what I expected at all. What the hell? Oh, that's kind of cool. You can, uh, I guess you're in the center and everybody's against you and you can uh, change the camera angle to hit the other, other people, uh, if that makes any sense. It's like you're in the middle and they're, you know, all around you. They're surrounding you and you gotta throw snowballs at them, if that makes any sense. Damn it, kid. Okay, so this isn't fair, you know, um, I'm outnumbered. Am I supposed to shoot the guys that are like skiing? Because uh, they're like minding their own business. This is actually hard. How would you like not get hit doing this? This is not what I expected. I was expecting to be skiing, not having a snowball fight. Oh, I just noticed that that makes it unlimited or something. Okay, so I got like machine gun snowballs. Okay, that's uh, not too bad, I don't guess, but not what I expected. Okay, so I've done snowball blast and the levels just kind of keep going with, I guess, added difficulty. So let's uh, check out downhill blitz. Okay, this is kind of what I expected from uh, from the second game was something like this, like some kind of downhill race and stuff. Well, I gotta get used to these controls. But this is kind of cool. I mean, where was I supposed to go? Did I go the wrong way? Like you only have certain ways that you can go and you just don't know until you actually do the course. Like, you don't turn that fast either. I bet I can jump. There's gotta be a way to jump. Well, I thought there was. The other buttons don't do anything, so I don't know. If you go the wrong way, I guess you're screwed unless there's something I'm missing. Well, this is kind of what I expected <laughs> from this uh, course here. I mean, it's kind of cool. I wish I knew how to like jump and I wish I could turn a little bit tighter, but this is what I thought Ski uh, Skater Die 2 was gonna have. Instead, it was like an adventure game almost. I am no good at this. Like, you can't get any speed up. Are you just supposed to go, like, creepy crawly slow like this? I mean, you're being timed. And then what about that? Like, you would think you could jump it. it doesn't tell you what to do. I've tried pressing the other buttons to jump and nothing happens. See, am I supposed to be going between them flags? Oh well, that's good enough, right? Okay, now I'm gonna try Acro Aerials. Sounds like a big epic fail to me. All right, so, like I said, I don't know what the controls are, so let's just do it. Can I, like, flip or do anything? Oh, there we go. Stop it. That wasn't my fault. I pressed the button to make him do a trick. So then I pressed it again to make him stop, you know? And he didn't stop. Totally not my fault. Yes, I want to try this again because I, I feel like it screwed me. 
I just want to land. I don't even want to do a trick. I think landing would be a thing itself. Yeah, I still got a horrible score. I know you're probably supposed to do some tricks or something. Like I said, I don't really know the controls for this, so I guess that's about as good as I'll get today. And really, I just wanted to check these games out because I played Skate or Die, but I've never played Skate or Die 2. I've never played Ski or Die, and I haven't played 720, so this is all new to me. Inner Tube Thrash. Oh, so this is like a race. Okay, so <laughs> you can fight each other on the inner tube? I don't know how. Are those power-ups out there? It looks like a sandal or something. Is that a coffin? Okay, did I flatten this thing? Is that a fish? Or a torpedo? Oh, that's a needle. How do I turn around and punch? Okay, this is uh, really, really weird. Like, I want to... See, he flattened my tube. I don't know how to, like, turn around and punch. Am I just supposed to, like, beat him to the bottom? Or fight him? It says we got a score. So, how do we get... How does he get more score than me? Is it from beating each other up? I don't know how to use items. Okay, I guess you get points by popping another person's inner tube or something. He's got way more points than I do. And I guess those there's some things out there that are obstacles, and some things are actually power-ups, so it's weird. How are we supposed to fight if he's over there? See, I feel like, well, I should get points for that. Did I get points for that? Yeah, just keep messing up, because, like, I don't know how to... Like, how did he hit me? He wasn't even near... Like, what is going on with that? I don't understand this at all. So he, like, hits me once, and it's a game over for me, but... I'm just gonna try to beat him to the bottom, if that's a thing. See, look! He just one-shots me. How do I... How do I turn? See, I'm punching him, too. I've apparently got a needle. Okay, this game is balls, too. Well, I mean, it's not like I had a lot of choices to go anywhere, so... I know you can collect some air. I think that's part of it. He's got more air in his inner tube than I do, so that makes sense why he was one-shotting me. Well, I won the race. That's all that matters. I don't care if you got more points. I still won the race. So, your points can shove it. These games are really weird, but they're kind of cool, I guess you could say. And now I'm going to do Snowboard Half Pipe. Oh, great. I've seen Faster Glacier. I just started, asshole. Are these power-ups? What am I supposed to do? What was that? Why is he talking shit? Am I supposed to do that? I'm supposed to do tricks, I guess. So that's kind of cool. What are those? Is that a rabbit with a chainsaw? Like, look. What is that? That looks like a rabbit. I don't know your dog, what? Okay, like this is a power up, but then sometimes it's like a rabbit with a chainsaw or something, that's what it looks like. I don't know you or your mom, shut up guy. He keeps talking crap to me. Talking about my dog. Yeah, it looks like a little bunny with like a chainsaw or something. And uh, some items are power ups, but I don't know what they do. That's kind of cool. I can, you can do like tricks and stuff. 
no way, bro. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I think this game would be a lot better if I did know more about the controls. But I'm just really playing this game blind. I mean, for a first try, not knowing what I'm doing, I guess that's okay. All right, so Ski or Die is a lot like Skate or Die 1, which is pretty cool. That's actually what I thought Skate or Die 2 was gonna be like. But let's just check out that other game. It's a completely different game uh, from this series, but it's called 720. Okay, so this is 720. Um, a person told me that if I like Skate or Die, I should check this one out. So let's see how this is. Class one. So, okay, that's cool. You get like a map and it tells you where stuff is. I want to go downhill first. Which is uphill to get downhill. That's weird. But look, look how tight I can turn. This is awesome. Like I could turn so much better than Skater Die. It feels like it takes you a whole hour to turn. What else can I do? Okay, so I can do little tricks. Hey, baby. Uh, looks like uh, everybody's wearing teal. Why is that guy face palming me? You got a problem? But everybody's wearing like the same colors, it seems like. Okay, downhill. Let's see how this is. Whoa. Damn it, I didn't know where I was supposed to go. Like, I'm so close to going off this, the edge of the screen, I can't see when to turn, really. got a silver medal it's not too bad but I do like how you control so much better than skater die I mean I'll give this game that I want to try it again if I can okay so it closes well that's uh, really weird let's look at this map again okay so once you do a thing it's over that kind of sucks I guess I'll go to, I guess it's kind of like competition. Like in Skate or Die, you can uh, just practice and do the same event over and over. But this game just, I guess it's competition. So it just throws you in and you have to, what is that? Is that a zombie or something? What the hell is that? So once you do an event, it just closes down, I guess. Where's the other event? Isn't it supposed to be like over here? Okay, here it is. Jump. I can do that. Didn't I just do this? Uh, did I jump? I got a bronze? I thought I did pretty good. I didn't wreck once. I guess I didn't jump far enough. I don't know. But you really don't get enough practice. Like... That's one thing I like about Skate or Die is you get to practice the event so you can keep playing it over and over till you get used to it. This one just, why is there like, what is that? And why do I have like a health bar that's ticking down? What is that? Like, am I losing health? Okay, where's the next event? It should be like down here somewhere, I thought. Okay, here we go. Why is that guy face palming? Slalom. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, even though I'm kind of herky jerky, I feel like these controls are more responsive than Skater Die. I got the gold medal, baby. That's pretty cool. And also in Skate or Die, I have to mash really hard and he just barely moves my character. But this game, you just press the button, the controls, and he moves pretty fast. So, this game does have that advantage, I suppose. The colors in there, what is, is that Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger down here? <laughs> I knocked him down, but I couldn't knock the girl down. Come on, equal rights, I should be able to knock the girl down too. 
Okay, now I gotta go to the ramp. Apparently you can buy shoes and stuff. I don't know what difference it makes. I wonder if it makes your character control better or do stuff better. I have no freaking idea. Okay, so I bought some shoes, whatever that does. The only thing that I don't like about this game is when you get to moving fast, you're right on the edge of the screen. So you can't see where you're going. I like to be able to see ahead a little bit. Well, this is... <laughs> like I said, this will probably be a disaster. Why are you doing that? Okay, is All right, A's the trick button, I guess. That's what was happening. Does B make me go faster? I don't know how to land that after I do it. Yeah, I'm terrible at this one because um, I don't know the, the controls. No metal. That's fine. Is that the symbol for uh, uh, the Rolling Stones? Okay, after you beat those or fail, it takes you to... I guess the uh, second stage and the colors change. So now I understand the colors a little bit, I guess. See, why can't I knock her down? I mean, she can knock my ass down. Get lost, kid, you need a ticket, okay? Well, how do I get a ticket? I just went in there the first time. That doesn't make sense. Where do I? Where do I get a ticket from? Okay, I can buy a board here. See, you just run up to it and it just gives it to you automatically whether you wanted it or not. I don't even know what it's... Why does this say skate or die in the middle of the screen now? Like, this isn't skate or die. Did you just copy off skate or die? Like, what, am I... what is that, bees? Okay, so now it really is skater die. I got stuff out here trying to kill me. Okay, this doesn't make sense. Well, did it? Those bees just turned into a hammer. Game over. What was I supposed to do? It told me to get a ticket in the first stage. I just went and done them, but now I need a ticket? Where do I get the ticket at? And why did I have bees chase me that turned into a, a hammer? Well, that was 720. What did you guys think about that game? I thought it was pretty cool. I liked how you could turn a whole lot better than you could in Skater Die. But this was a little weird. It actually said Skater Die in the game itself and bees attacked you and they turned into a hammer. It's really weird. I guess this is a demo, demo mode. So let's see what he does. See if he does anything differently than what I did. Maybe it can teach me how to teach me how to play <laughs> was what I was going to say. Who programmed this demo to be like this? Are you freaking serious? Like, that's not me. This is a demo of the game. Usually in a demo of a game, they play halfway decent. That guy's just driving off into the water. Like, what were they thinking? when they like programmed that. That was so weird. But anyways, guys, comment down below and let me know what you think about this game. And what do you think about Skater Die? Skater Die 2 or Skier Die? I think they all have like their own certain charm and they all have like something unique about them. So that's kind of cool. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. And as always, I will see you in the next one.